Good morning, you guys, and welcome to this week's vlog. As you guys saw in the B-roll, it is a busy Monday around here. It's actually 11.45. I've already done my morning classes, and I just sat down to do my kitten thinks we're going outside. I opened the French doors in the kitchen, so that should hopefully keep her quiet for like maybe five minutes. But anyway, morning classes finished as usual. I am so thankful I took that out school break and then I had my introduction meeting and then my planning and strategy meeting with my new job. If you guys have missed a couple vlogs, a, go check them out. But long story short, I decided that I was going to fill my VIP kid side hustle hours with something else. I wanted something different, something that didn't require me to be in front of a camera or necessarily be on as teachers and making YouTube videos requires you to be most of the time. So I am now working with a company that I help edit videos. And it's not videos of me, so it lets me be creative with the kind of music they want, the graphics, the editing they want. So today was just a meeting of getting on the same page. I'm dedicating three days a week to them right now, depending on the, the workload. But what's really nice about this is right now it is set income, but later it could be a form of passive income. If any of these videos do well, continue to bring in a lot of views and revenue, we take and share um, a portion of that revenue. So I like this because it lets me be creative, like I said earlier. I am not somebody that can just do the same thing all the time. I wanna be challenged, I wanna learn new things, so that's what's on the docket for today. Meeting went well. I took old school notes here. I got kind of the idea of what they wanted, the kind of styles that I brought to the table, and then just strategy and how they're going to be sending me footage and how I'm going to be sending it out. So that is very exciting. Things I may not have mentioned, uh, my show closed. Cinderella ran its course. We closed it on Sunday, packed everything up. I am so glad that I got to do that production. It was beautiful. But now, especially with all of this happening, I am very glad that A, I took my break and my show is over. I currently don't have any big shows in the works right now. I do have a couple speaking engagements. I'm going to go speak on stage. So that's not coming up, I don't think, until May. So I've got a good eight week chunk to just be. Anyway, my last bit of news before I go do some very much needed cleaning in this house is I have signed my VIP kid global invite. And I know you guys might be thinking, wait a minute, she just said she was working with a new job. Why would she be signing this? I'm signing it as a way to keep my foot in the door. At this point in time, you do not have to give any amount of hours at all. I plan to literally sign it and let it sit. I have not opened any availability. I've only heard from a few people that it's going well for them. So I'm just keeping my foot in the door, trying to see what's going on. But as of right now, I am planning on just having that there for status purposes, just so I don't close that door. I am also going to be restructuring my out school schedule. I may be closing some classes I've been teaching since August. It's been seven months and I might just be rebuilding that schedule. If that's something I do, I will be showing you guys here in the videos how I reset a schedule. So if you wanna see that, let me know down below. Also let me know where you're teaching, how it's going. Happy spring, you guys. I'm gonna go do some cleaning. Set my Fitbit to walk mode for 30 minutes and I have to clean while that 30 minutes is going. you think that I should calm down. Thinking everything about you. You guys, I think my orchid is dying. Some of them are doing really well, like up here, but the ones down here are, are not. Any tips? Should I clip them off? You. What things you like and what you don't is. Look at where you are. Look at where guys, it is much lighter now. I just did my group voice lesson on OutSchool and then my private one-on-one -on -one students, they're working on Hamilton, so I decided to try singing Hamilton. Please don't judge me. All the people that know how to sing Hamilton, I have never studied that score, but I do have a YouTube channel that I don't think I've mentioned yet and I've made it for all of my performing arts students. It is called K Music Studios. I'm gonna give it a shameless plug. Please, please, please go subscribe up there if you or anybody you know loves the arts. This channel has a bunch of free 
uh, singing exercises, vocal exercises, lessons, there are shorts, there are clips of me performing things that I can't put here because of copyright. I realize that it is a privilege to have learned music, have grown up learning it, and it's a privilege for parents to be able to put their kids in lessons. So I figured what better way to like leave a little bit of your own legacy for lack of a better word and make a YouTube channel where if a family can't afford voice lessons three times a week, there are clips that they can go back and watch. I do full virtual like voice lessons coming in the summer. But again, K Music Studios, my husband's home and he just asked me if I want to go with him to Target. That's him. We're going to Target. Ask you all my questions, get to know you better, but can you be trusted? Whew, you guys, I just taught two classes at 8 o'clock and at 8.35. It's one of those weeks, maybe it's because they're on spring break. I don't know what it is. Um, this is a camp, so I just had my first night with these classes, but both classes had a number of learners where the question, do you guys have any questions, was translated into, please tell me a story that's 10 minutes long about your random pet that you and your family had five years ago that you think you saw in the pet store this week. Like, it was so random. But it was a long Monday. I am doing these evening classes because I'm trying to give more of my daytime availability to getting used to this other little position here. I love it. I now have an external drive. I've got a bunch of little SD, external SD cards that I can hold footage on. I will not bore you about that stuff just yet, just that I'm excited again to be doing something new. I have joined a gym. Just wanna put that out there in the world. I realized through doing everything with my job and then throwing in my musical and performance dates, taking the time off from out school made me really realize like, Kristen, you're tired going up two flights of stairs. That's, that's bad. You need to get back into getting your physical and mental health on the priority list. So I have this vlog going live this week. And then for the following maybe three to four weeks, I am going to be documenting my health journey. It is something I've debated doing on this channel, on the vlogs, but it is something I'm doing. It is part of working from home and having to prioritize getting in movement. So I made the, the decision to include it here in these vlogs. So next week, the thumbnail probably won't be me in an office looking excited. It'll probably be me busting my butt at a gym or changing up my, my meals. And I don't share this content to be triggering to anyone at all. This will be my first time joining a gym, following um, a really well put together meal plan and prioritizing sleep and getting in water and rest, taking days off. I should probably never let eight months go by without taking time off again. But I just wanted to let you guys know that is something I'm going along with. If you have any experience with taking your health back, especially if you're someone who works from home, please, please, please let me know. It's been especially hard because it's been cold and snowy and dark at 5.30, but now daylight savings has hit, my show is done taking time off. So I'm joining a gym on Wednesday. It is an Orange Theory Fitness. I know they're around the country, I believe. I could be wrong in saying that. Going in for my first class uh, on Wednesday. So that's it for today. Hopefully all will go well with the gym and it will continue to help aid in just taking my health back. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. I am in between classes right now and I have a strong urge to just clean my office space. Anybody else work from home and then realize like out of nowhere, oh my gosh, my office space is a wreck. That is me right now. There, there's chapstick, SD card, stationery. There's, there's just so much here. And you might think, oh, that's not too bad. But when you're in the space and you're working in the space, it, it can wear on you just a little bit. So I think that's something I'm gonna work on today. Inbox Zero, um, and then doing some YouTube work. I think I'm gonna be revamping my teaching schedule. Now that I'm gonna start incorporating gym workouts and having more time to be creative outside of being in the classroom, I've been working on Google Calendar, just revamping the schedule. Get up, get in my water, and the first thing I do in the morning is the gym and then classes because I don't know about you guys, if I don't get my workouts done in the morning, they're not happening. Mm -mm. They're not happening, we're over it, it's not a thing anymore. 
but if I get them done in the morning, then I can check it off my list and it's done. So I am seriously considering finishing the month of March, taking seven to 10 days to just kind of transition into a new calendar. And that would really mean having to go in and rebuilding my schedule from the ground up. So all these ongoing classes that have been full for months, I would end them. I would essentially start from the bottom up. So if that's something you would want to see, you can check out these vlogs as time goes by because I'm considering doing that. And it would let me see, you know, what kind of students could take classes at different times. I could be experimenting with different times here. So just some food for thought and I will keep you guys posted. But for now, I've got six minutes till my morning class and then I am going to go clean this desk and make breakfast. Hopefully if it's nice outside, I can get in some steps and do some cleaning. The glamorous life of working from home. This little 20 minute break came because my 10.30 student did not show up in class, so I waited my 10 minutes, left the message. I got paid to do my laundry, and I got paid to make my bed and to put on a jumpsuit. That is that, guys. I will catch up with you later. I just made the executive decision that after March is over, I'm going to take a short break again from teaching, which you may be thinking, you just took a break. But that break was to open a show, so it wasn't like an actual break. But long story short, I'm gonna revamp my entire teaching schedule, meaning all the classes I teach now, I'm gonna finish in the next three weeks and then they're going to close. I'm going to start out school again from the ground up. So if you are somebody who would love to watch somebody rebuild their schedule or just build an initial schedule, stay tuned in these vlogs because I'll be sharing more health, fitness, rebuilding. Is it rebuilding? Restructuring, that's the word I want to use. I'm gonna be restructuring my entire teaching schedule from the ground up. I have just over two weeks to do this, so I'm gonna go teach classes in 15 minutes, and then tonight after dinner, I'm gonna sit down. I'm a big Google Calendar person. I love calendar blocking. I'll put an entire tutorial if that's something you'd like to try. But I actually play in Google Calendar where I can move events before I go and put the class offerings on OutSchool. Once the offerings are there, it's like a contract. If someone signs up, I will be there, even if it's only one learner. So classes now, and then I am going to be restructuring my entire teaching schedule. And I know that sounds scary, but I feel like this is what I need to do. I have kind of learned what works best for me, what will put me in the best situation in terms of mental and physical health. So I wanna restructure my work day. So the first thing I do is get up, have my water and coffee, gym. I wanna get my workout done first thing. So guys, stay tuned. Once it's all done in a future video, of course, I will show you how I restructured, how I'm gonna be rebuilding my schedule, rebranding my content. This also gives me a chance to go into the lessons and update and change things. If there's something I wanna change in some of my classes, I absolutely can. Anyway, I decided today was a glasses and no makeup day, having my snack passion tango iced tea and my snack box <sighs> you guys i am tired it is tuesday night dinner and evening classes are done you're gonna hear my cats it is what it is tomorrow is my first day trying orange theory fitness i am feeling a lot of emotions right now if you have any tips let me know tomorrow is my free class to try it out i'll keep you guys posted I also had Christopher take me to Target. Sorry, I had him take me to Target. Well, he had to get stuff, but I haven't bought workout clothes in a while. And I thought, hey, you're trying something new. Let's go see what's on clearance. Cause that's how we roll. But I got myself some discount clearance leggings. They are $15. I will pay $15 for a $35 pair of leggings. And then a couple workout tops. So that's it for tonight, you guys.
you guys can see that I start on Google Calendar and then move over to OutSchool. And yes, I'm borrowing a laptop so I can have dual screens. And it's so lovely out. How is this March weather? I don't know. You guys, it is several hours later and it is so lovely to just be outside. I have redone my entire schedule and I want to do a sit down video on how I did this. I literally went in and I closed every single class I had going. Ongoing, multi-day, well the multi-days will finish their course, but every single ongoing class, every class on the schedule has been wiped clean. I'm essentially starting from the ground up and I want to obviously document it here in the vlogs, but over time I want to make an, an informational video on how I did it, how I structured this, my strategy with funneling classes. If you don't know how I do my marketing strategy, I did an entire video. I'll put it up above in the cards for you. Anyway, like I mentioned earlier in the vlog, I tried Orange Theory Fitness today and it absolutely kicked my butt. I was able to do the treadmill just fine, the rowing, but I tried to keep up with this guy next to me when we got to lifting and he'd obviously been lifting longer than I have, so more than one day. And I tried to keep up with him and it did not go well for me. I got really dizzy. I had to like sit and just drink some water at the end, but I completed it and I am signed up for a membership. So I'm gonna try them out at a very discounted rate for 30 days and I'll get back to you. I'll let you guys know. Honestly, I think with me restructuring my schedule and incorporating working out first thing in the morning will really help in terms of work-life balance. If you are somebody who also has to work out in the morning, if you do work out, let me know what tips and tricks you have. If the idea of seeing someone's weight, meal prep, what we eat in the weeks, how we handle work from home is something that is triggering to you, I will try to make sure to put little warnings in the vlogs where I can, but I do just wanna make sure you guys know that is something I'll be adding into my vlogs. Um, if I can, I'll put timestamps if you wanna skip over those sorts of things. For me, when I watch somebody's weight loss journey or health journey, I love to see the, the scale and the meal prep, but for me, I'm not as triggered by those numbers as I used to be. Other than that, you guys, I'm gonna have my snack out here and then I have to go inside to do some of my video editing for my new side hustle. I will give you guys more info as time goes on. I'm just trying to get it incorporated into my schedule and to feel more comfortable, which I honestly am, and it feels so refreshing to be doing something different, like new sets of challenges, so I'll keep you posted on that. Have a great week. See you guys in the next one. Bye.